We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they tryna stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so. You understand? That's why when they give you this image, it's to rob you of your hope. Right. right. You understand? That's why we have to come into the Bible. Read the Bible for ourselves. Right. Because these pastors ain't gonna teach us how to keep God's commandments, right. how to come back to God. How to get the kingdom? Give me that uh, uh, Revelations 22 and 14. Bro, we got. How, how do we? How do we get to the kingdom? If it's if it's if it's for everybody, as they say, how do we get there? It can't be for everybody, right? Because a lot of us out here struggling, right? And look, look, there's only two y'all here you're listening to the word of God. So obviously, it ain't for everybody, bro. right? Because ain't everybody here listening, trying to see how they get there. Bring right. it out. I'll teach y'all how you get to the kingdom right now, today. The book of Revelations, chapter 22 and verse 14. Bring it up. Blessed are they. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Why does he start that? Blessed are they. God says you are blessed. Right. How are you blessed? That do his commandments. That what? That do his commandments. In order for you to be blessed, you must be doing God's commandments. Right. right. You can't be blessed and highly favored and just calling on the name of Jesus. Right. You must be doing the commandments. Yeah. God's commandments. There's no other way. There's no gray area with God. There's no middle ground with God. You do what he says or die. That's right. And serve God and walk in all his ways. That are keeping the commandments. You understand what I'm saying, sis? We have to learn that for ourselves. But God has given us men. Look, all these brothers you see in purple shirts. These brothers used to walk these streets and they do the same kind of How you get started? Give me that in uh no, give me uh Sirach 37 and 12. I'm gonna show you how you get that. Alright, let's go. Sirach 37 and 12. Hello! What we have to understand is the answers to all our questions in our lives are written right here in these scriptures. They call it the B-I-B-L-E, right? The basic instructions before leaving earth, right? Before we're taken up to be with our Savior, 37 and 12, right? These are the basic instructions before we leave Earth. Why do we have to leave Earth? Because this thing is going to be purged with fire. That's Bring right. it out. That's it's right. It's going to be destroyed. So all the things that kept us in sin is going to be destroyed. When Christ returns, the moment the let me tell you something. We teach all the time. The Bible says that the Lord is coming to America. Right. But people are like oh, nobody can invade America. Nobody's done it yet. Right. But that's the that's the thing. The infiltration of America has already already happened. All it takes now is for the first missile to drop. Right. The first missile to hit this place, the world will change forever. And that will be the beginning of the reign of the Israelites. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. You got a, you got one of the cards? You got a Bible at home? Yeah, but I mean, I don't know how to follow. Here's what you do. This one. I'm going to show, show you how you follow. This is what you do. The book of Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 12. For real. Do, uh, a card, right? Yeah. Okay, watch this. But be continually with a godly man. The Bible says you must be continually with godly men. That's right. Right? Read. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the God Lord. Of you, you know. That you know that keep Commandments. Who hold each other accountable to keep God's commandments. Right. Right. If a brother goes off, I'm going to tell him, hey man, you, you, you are the spirit. Right. You right. need to get in the spirit. You need to get back in these commandments. Right. Right. That's how we deal with each other. Again, I hate harping on with the church, group, but that's not what happens in the church. Because right. you, can, you, can, you can have a girlfriend in the church, right. be bringing her to the church for 10, 12 years. Bring it out. Never marry the sister. Pastor will never come down and say, brother, sister. Don't you know the Bible says that you can't be shacking up and read you the law of the Bible? They don't do that. Right. That's why 
we have so many of these sisters out here with support single mothers. Right. That's why they can they can perpetuate Section 8 on our people. That's how they can do it. Because the, 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 the leaders aren't telling the people that is wrong. God says marriage is honorable at all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. They're not teaching you that in the church. But you got to be around godly men who are keeping the commandments who are going to hold you accountable to God's word. Right. That's how you're going to learn. That's how you're going to grow. Right, give me Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because it don't stop there. It don't just stop with we just, you have to continue to feed your spirit. You have to feed your spirit. So I ask you, if you got a Bible, you got a Bible at home, right? You need to open up your Bible and read it. You need to listen to these street teachings that we do. You see, we're recording it. We record street teachings all across the world of us teaching our people how to keep God's commandments, how to walk the line and walk the path of righteousness. We teach our people that. We have classes and break down all kind of issues that we deal with in life, and we go into the scriptures, and we find the solutions of the issues we deal with. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse chapter 17. 10, and verse 17. Chapter 10, and verse 17. Read. So then faith coming by hearing. So if you want to build up your faith, and believe on the Most High to change your life, so that you can walk that path of righteousness, what must you do? So then faith coming by hearing. Of God. You gotta be feeding the spirit with the word of God. Right? That's so right. Whether it be you listening to a class, or you're bringing out the scriptures and showing you how to do with everyday life, how you can change and be a godly woman, how, how, how to detect a godly man. Right. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Bring it out. That's you gonna get from listening to the word of God. Right. Now, open up your Bible and follow along. We have a school where you can come to, and you can sit among other sisters who's gonna teach you. You have us teach the school to teach brothers right. how to be teachers, how to be leaders in their house, right, how to right. be leaders in these streets, right, right. how to change the world. Right. Get out. That's what we teach our people. It's only going to come from the keeping of God's commandments. Right. Right. Give me Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Give me Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Yeah. All this goes into who we are today and changes. We must learn how to repent. Repent means to turn back. To turn back to what? Turn back to us being the same evil. No, we got to turn back to who God created us to be. Right. Right. Our princes and princesses of God. Right. That's who we are. Right. But guess what? We get, we watch TV. You let TV tell it. We ain't nothing. Right. Now, we ain't worth a damn. That's why they can kill you in the street and then, and then go hug your, 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 your murderer. Right. Give a Bible to your murderer. Right. That's the destruction of our people. Bring it out. You understand? And it's, it plays on your ignorance yeah. in terms of who you are according to the Bible. Right. But right. that ignorance comes from us being in slavery. Get out. So long until this day. We still, and it's right, lost as a people. So we don't have, our culture in America is booty shaking, drug selling, murdering one another, or gang violence. That's our culture. That's black culture. Right. Sports. Shooting the basketball, hitting the baseball, throwing a football, that's our strip club, that's our culture. If you think about it, that's what they push on our young people as a culture. I says, no, this right here, this is how we live. This is how we live. Right. That's right. What you got? Acts 3, read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Come on, bring it out. Repent, ye that fall. So the Bible says we must repent. That's what Christ taught when you walk to earth. Repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's soon to come. All you gotta do is look at the news. This place is about to go down. It's, it's building up, right? But what we don't understand is that this Bible was written for us, for us to get right. You understand that? All praise to the most high. Hey, not a problem, not a problem. Let me, you gotta go, all right, sis. Listen, call the number. Yeah. You want to learn how to change your life. You want to learn how to get I'm better. I'm Call, the yeah. Call the school. Let me, let me leave you a book. Here's what I want you to leave you. Leave you on Deuteronomy 225. I want you to understand. The Bible says you repent. Right? That means you got to turn back. Turn away from sin. Turn back to God's law. I'm going to give you a law. Like you said. So that you, now that you, you start to change your mind, Today. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it up. 
Commandment of God. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what women wear that pertaineth or belongs to men? end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 